Morning, everybody. Rusty from the Rusty Razor. Got another shave of the day. Actually, this is actually Saturday. <sighs> yeah, like, wife's gone. She's going off house looking at with my daughter. She's thinking about buying a house, so they're out wandering the wilderness looking at houses. So, eh, I'm on my own today. All right, today we're going to be using Old Spice Cream all the way from India. When I first used this the first time, I had no scent, and then I kneaded it like bread. And, goes, and it actually now has scent to it. Because it's all down, and everything that was in the top has, like, had no scent. But it's not bad. It smells kind of like Old Spice. So, the old Old Spice. Not a strong scent, per se, but it's there. All right, we're going to be using the Astro Blades, the second use of, with the Star Razor. I'm going to be using that today. And we'll follow up with some... Let's see how this looks like. There. There. Avon Spicy. Which is kind of their Old Spice scent type of thing. I don't know if we've seen this. Out of the archives comes another Avon whole box. Yeah. A whole bunch of those things. Alright, so how's your day going? Yeah. Uh, mine's like thought about running out and going doing stuff then I was like you know what I got nothing going on today might as well make a video can't decide if I'm gonna maybe I'll put this up on Sunday maybe Saturday whenever I feel like it I don't know <sighs> it's like the, the cream I put a bunch in here and it seems to lathered up halfway decently smells like old Kind of old spice. It's not quite. Ah, where are you going? Back in there. Not exactly. Seems like what I'm used to is old spice, but it does have it in there. No. Let's have to. It's been a while since I used this. Hey, good catch. Right in the bowl. I don't use it too often. It's not what I would consider heavy and um, cream, creamy. A lot of slickness to it, but it works type of thing. Yeah, that's <laughs> like doing a little... Yeah, I got a couple dogs named Timex and Rolex. They're my watchdogs. Yeah. <laughs> it's like bad. Yeah, went to the toy store. I'm looking for an Arnold Schwarzenegger doll. And I said, do you know where those are at? And he goes, yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be, yeah. And I tell my wife these things. And she just like, rolls her eyes and walks away. And she's like, oh. <laughs> we watching movies and. Somebody will say something and I'll just say it instantly, bam, pun. It goes with it and she just looks at me. And I was like, hey, it's talent. How many people can just, uh, at the drop of a hat, just drop a pun out of nowhere? She was like, it doesn't make it any better. I'm like, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, definitely, this is not overly slick that's for sure it's like you expect a little, it's like you get you, you're spoiled let's just put it that way it's equivalent to oh it's like parasso you know it it does the job but uh, 
it doesn't have that residual slickness that you expect, you know, that you get with all the other soap. Well, gotta watch it. <laughs> you definitely, if you're going to uh, need to go over a spot, hit it again with more lather. You got plenty in here. I can probably go four or five passes easily with what I got. So. But it is what it is, I guess. Oh, yeah, my daughter. And she has a roommate. You know, they've been roommates since college. And her uh, roommate bought a house. Bought it from her um, aunt for, you know. And then... Uh, Put a down payment on which her grandparents gave her a big giant down payment to pay for the house and then her parents are co-signing the house with her and she's like oh it's so hard getting a home and it's like seriously really seriously <laughs> it's like uh, you just had everything handed to you on a silver platter. <laughs> like, yeah, I bought that. My daughter, she's been uh, saving up for about three years now to buy a house. Because she knew the day would come when her roommate would head out. They, right now they're in a townhouse together renting but she wants her own place too he's like yep it's time for she says she's like it's time to divorce this person and move on and get on with her life in a whimsical way yeah she's known for a while that uh, she wanted to have her own place. Oh, got that spot again. A little bump right there. But she's been looking at houses for a while now. And today it's like she has a couple that's lined up that she's been thinking about. Really. Man. You ever wonder why I don't like a handle on a King C. Gillette? <laughs> like my hands are always covered in lather. Just random facts out of nowhere. Okay. So she uh well, the two of them are out there wandering the wilderness. Looking at houses, her realtor has a one specifically said, just like down in Norwalk, same place that uh, um, Brandon Roth and, and Jason Momoa grew up. Is Jason Momoa's family and Jay and you know, their whole all, both families still live down there. That's just interesting. It's like I ran into Jason Momoa. We have a restaurant that's uh, in town at Des Moines. But a Waveland Cafe. I ran him into ran into him there. His family always goes there too. Every once in a while, it's like whenever he's in town visiting, he they always go to the, the restaurant. He'll sneak in and, and uh, have a quick meal. I was like, we were there one time and they showed up for kind of a late breakfast. Kind of walking in and I was like, hey, that's Jason Momoa. <laughs> yeah. 
He had this was way back before they uh, he did uh, Conan the Barbarian, and he was on this show uh, Stargate Atlantis. And he was walking in, and I was like, "It's Ronan, Ronan Dex." And he looked up there, "My man!" <laughs> like, oh, someone actually recognized me from my show. I was like, yeah. Everybody at the table was like, "Who?" <laughs> Who's this? Hey, he's an actor. Like, oh, okay. They had no clue who he was. I doubt anybody still does in that group. My uh, church men's group. I'm the young whippersnapper in the group. Yeah, the guy that's 58 is the young guy. Everybody's in their 70s, almost 80. Man, that's, that is definitely not really slick. But, yeah, it's kind of cool. Every once in a while you get to run into actors or actresses. Yeah, I've met Arnold Schwarzenegger. He came to my high school back in the day when he was, uh, George Bush Sr.'s uh, athletic uh, uh, person, spokesman or whatever you want to call it, for his administration. He so was going around to schools with us and people. I met most of the cast of uh, Wings, I don't know if you remember that, I think it was on NBC, it was a show called Wings, a comedy show, met most of the actors and actresses from there. It's like I got Crystal Bernard's uh, autograph. That was, she came to, a, when we had the Des Moines Grand Prix, she came by, she was in a, a uh, what do you call a celebrity racer. <laughs> Racing cars, of all things. I had a picture taken, but not that Whistler, but I had my wife taking the picture, and she was like, uh, not very good. It was all blurry. And you're like, you serious, little woman? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like, ugh. Man, yeah, this was kind of funny. My son got to be on the front of the sports page. He was just a um, newborn. He was born in uh, that February, and the race was, I think, July. And uh, we had him sitting there. We were watching the race, and he was in the sitting on the. We we had the earmuffs on his head so it protect his hearing. We had earplugs. It was loud, and. The reporter comes by and he's like, I take a picture of the baby. And I was like, Yeah, he takes a picture of the baby. Shows my son with a earmuffs. He was on the, it's like, even the young are watching the Grand Prix. <laughs> like, wow, that was cool. <laughs> All right. Oh, I think. Oh, how the heck did I miss that? more yeah stuff dries out quickly too had a lot of water to get to adding to it to make sure it was had some slickness 
it won't dry out quickly. There we go. No, oh, it's all discombobulated today. Eh? Didn't realize I forgot to take my watch off. That tells how it's like I got the watch on today. I'm like normally I take it off before I shave. I'm all over the place today. All right, got that done. All right. Avon Spicy! Hmm. Come on there. Here we go. Not bad. Worked good together. A little bit of tingling right through here. In that one spot right there. And there is definitely a little lump there. Keep shaving it off. Alright, that was Avon Spicy. Out of the, out of the cupboard. <laughs> Every once in a while. I got all kinds of stuff in the box. So, I keep thinking I need to pull all of it out and do a video of everything I got. But, eh, whatever. Alright, so that was Old Spice Cream. Definitely, it's on the same level as like Parasso when it comes to slickness. Uh, you got to keep reapplying it. If you go over it too many times, it, it just dries out quickly. So, there. Had that. Then we had uh, second use of the Astro Blades with the Star Razor, Star of the Show. Okay, that's the shave of the day, everybody. Hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe, share with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one. Rusty out.